have to take two pictures. We have to take two pictures of the AP and we take two pictures of the lateral. So we're going to do from the knee up for AP and lateral and then we're going to do a hip film. And so basically I'm going to be killing real, okay, to say, killing two birds with one stone because I'm showing you the femur but in the same time I'm showing you the hip as well. Okay, does that make sense? So you have to do both to get the femur. I think I confused them a little bit in the earlier lab, so I wanted to try to clarify that a little bit better. And your notes on your femur are, um, for the AP, you just have them supine, and you're going to have them rotate in 10 to 15 degrees, and what that does is it overcomes the anniversion of the femoral max. It says... You're going to center perpendicular at mid-thigh to include one um, joint. The routine is going to be from the knee up and then take an initial film of the hip. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find the patella. I'm going to move the table a little bit. Sorry, guys. And I'm going to put the bottom of the film just a little bit below the patella because we talked about where the joint space was at. So here's the apex of the patella, so I'm a little bit below that, then I'm going to collimate in side to side, so then I'm just coming straight down the femur. I would take that picture. You notice I marked my film in a little bit because I collimated. Okay. Then for the lateral, she's going to roll up just like she did for the lateral foot, ankle, tip, tip, knee. Everything is going to roll up this way. And you're going to have her bend her knee just a little bit. And I'm going to try to keep her femur nice and straight, which she is. Here is the bottom of my patella. So I really think I'm going to leave it right there, making sure that I'm going to get that joint space on there, centering up. And then this is as far up as it's going to get on the femur. Notice how she raised her leg up. That is one thing you have to watch when you're doing your femurs. She's very flexible. She's able to do that. A lot of the people that we do femurs on are not able to do that. So you just have them bring their leg up as high as they can. If they cannot do that, then they would just have to bring their leg up like this. But notice how she rolled, it rolled her back some. So you want to... It's in the way. It's, it, I know, Sorry, it's, it's hard. So she's going to roll up on her side a little bit. But the thing is, you want to make sure that the knee, that patella is perpendicular. So if your patient can do it this way, it really is easier. If not, then you'll have to do it the other way. Questions on that? Well, I'm like, good.